guys, so today I'm going to show you how I cook chicken gizzards. Uh, so chicken gizzards are an organ meat that you can get quite cheaply actually because not many people are interested in eating uh, gizzards. They are part of a chicken's uh, digestive system. So the first step is to actually clean them out. So you want to make sure that there isn't any uh, gritty or grainy stuff because when chickens eat the grain, it kind of goes through the gizzard. So you're trying to grab all of the fatty bits that have any uh, grain to them. So you can see on there, there's that big chunk of uh, fatty bits. What you do is you're just going to use your thumb to just gently uh, pull those away. And you just want to not have any of those bits on there and when you've cleaned your gizzards they will be nice and smooth to the touch and they'll kind of look like uh, tiny little bows in a way so I like to run them underwater and just to make sure that I get all of the grain and any grit that might be stuck in the fat off of the gizzards themselves. So you may be wondering why you might be interested in eating a gizzard. Well, it's actually one of the most nutritious parts of a chicken. Um, it's very high in protein, uh, so high in fact that one cup of gizzard meat can satisfy up to 88% of your daily recommended value of uh, protein. If you're also interested in its nutritional value, then by all means do go look it up. It's also very high in vitamins. If you've ever wondered what they taste like, they do have a very distinct taste, which I personally like. And it is quite similar to that of dark chicken meat, but it's got a chewier and a tougher texture to chicken meat itself. To cook, uh, chicken gizzards, I personally prefer just pan frying them. So there I've put in my avocado oil, which is my preferred oil for frying. And there's my nice pile of cleaned gizzards. And I'm just going to put those in to start frying. Now, some people will remove the interior yellow membrane on the gizzards, but I don't. I find that they're still edible. So you let them fry for um, a while and I just like to add a bit of salt and some black pepper and I'll let them cook and simmer for probably about uh, 30, 20 to 30 minutes on a medium heat. I also added some chili with these ones just to give them a little bit of a kick a little bit of a spiciness. So how do you know when your gizzards are ready to eat? Well, they will become fork tender and they also reduce significantly in size because when you cook them, they shed a lot of their water and they get smaller, which is what gives them the chewy texture that I love very much. And so when you can easily relatively easily pierce through one with a fork then they're ready uh, when i'm keto i like to have them with some steamed spinach and it's a really lovely uh, keto snack i hope that you've enjoyed this post and you found it useful um, if you did please do give it a big thumbs up down below if you haven't already do subscribe i put out quite a lot of keto recipes and carnivore recipes and all that sort of stuff here at Hila's Keto Kitchen. So until I see you next time guys, go and try some chicken gizzards and let me know how you get on.